Zambia. Zambia ranks 120 out of 180 on the press freedom deck. Independent media harassed an increase in political tension following President Edgar Lambu's re-election in 2016 has been used as a pretext for drastically restricting the freedom to inform and gagging the independent press. The authorities closed the most part the most important independent newspaper, The Post, in June 2016 and arrested members of its staff. Several radio and TV stations also had their licenses withdrawn. Prime TV, a popular commercial TV channel that had been one of the government's biggest critics, was suspended for a month in 2019 after being accused of contributing to the ruling party's defeat in a parliamentary by-election. The prosecute, to prosecute journalists, the government either used financial pretexts such as non-payment of taxes in the case of the post, or various laws regulating defamation and sedition. A newspaper editor who had been sentenced to 18 months in prison for contempt of court, of court was finally released in 2019 after nearly a year in prison. Physical attacks against journalists and media outlets are common, especially during elections. Ruling party officials sometimes threaten to close media outlets for not covering the president properly. The government also announced its intention to tax-free phone calls on social media. A facility widely used by Zambian's journalists and bloggers the increase in intimidation attacks and prosecutions has fueled an increase in self-censorship. The promised law on access to information has yet to be adopted. In, today, in, in today's day and age, it has gone down, but it has seen a bit of a slip in recent years. Its index, as cur its index currently is at 95. It was at 87, but is still down from the uncensored library's account back in 20. So if you have a half decade removed, you can see better. Hakalande Hishilima's election as president in August of 2021 has improved the situation for the media after some difficult years, but legislative framework still needs improving in Zambia's economic problems continue to hold back journalistic independence. Hey, thanks for watching. If you want to you want to talk to me outside of this video, outside of live streams, or just be a join the community and be a part of it you can do so at hibmedia.gg slash discord discord links there we'd love to have you and given the financial situation of the economy right now i know this is a tall ask but if you have the scratch to, to spare please consider donating and becoming a supporter at hibmedia.gg slash tip all of our perks are serviced through our discord channel including early access videos exclusive videos and more your generosity is a blessing and a dollar a month is included in my bank account. Thank you so very much for watching. I appreciate you and have a great day.